This is a three minute refresher on Google Apps. First, make sure you're logged into the right address, google.com slash a slash tcprincipal.org, google.com slash a slash tcprincipal.org, and then log in with your last name, first initial, and your cohort year. Last name, first initial, and your cohort year. This brings you to your control panel with all your services. So you click on the service you want to use. Let's look at our email first. So under our mail, you'll notice that all your mail comes here on the right side. On the left side are labels. These are labels you actually have to create. So labels are great. Labels are really like folders. So if I come here, here actually, if I move over to the, the right side and I click on labels, on labels here, you see the labels I've created. If you want to create a new label, delete, or change a label, you click Manage Labels, and then you can change them. Then once you've created your labels, all you do is you click on an email, and then you can apply a label to it. Uh, this is a great way to keep your files organized. Another really uh, infrequently used tool is filters. So if I zoom into the upper right corner here, you see create a filter. Let's, let's create a filter. A filter is telling Google to do something specific to an email based on keywords. So if I type in 4001 here, any email with the word 4001, I'm telling Google that it should do one of these things or multiple of these things. Apply, apply it directly to a folder, it's sending it directly into a folder, or to uh, forward it to an email or something else. Now, forwarding all emails. So let's say I want to, uh, here in the upper right corner, settings. In the upper right corner, settings, I want to forward all my emails. I go over here to forwarding, and I can forward all my emails to somewhere else. Let's go on to DAPS, docs. So if I go back to my panel and click on docs, here you see that it's asking which account to log into. Google doesn't know who to log in as. Here is I have a personal account, my TC principal. Make sure you log in as your TC principal. If you have problems there, refresh your cookies or delete your cookies, and that should be fixed. That's pretty rare. So let's uh, create a new document. Create a new document. Let's review our share functions again. Remember, we have two share options so in the upper right corner. In the upper right corner, share settings. We share settings. We can share it. We can sh type in the name. And we can share it to edit or view. Edit means they can edit the document. View means they can only see it. Uh, in most cases in Spa, you'll be editing as a, as a edit feature. You'll be using edit. Now, uploading feature. So, upper, right, upper left corner, we're uploading documents. So, you upload a document to turn in. Select the file you want to upload. And remember, you have two options. You want to have it converted to Google Docs or leave it in its file format. If you're going to unclick it, it will leave it in its original format. Uh, if you click it, it will be converted. In Google Spa, usually you want to convert it. So there's sometimes definitely you will want to leave it in its original format. And there's also options to do optical character recognition, OCR. And you can then also set its visibility settings and directly have it upload to a folder. We go back to Google Docs now. Now, um, if you take a look here, you see like I have a lot of files in this, in, on, my, on my desktop. Google Docs. So there's different ways I can sort it. I can do by open by me, shared by me. It's helping me view and figure out where my files are. I also, if, you, if I zoom out, you can see I have folders. So uh, down here I have my folders. That I can create new folders. Once I've created a folder, all what I do is when I click on a document, if I all I do is drag it. So all I do is I can drag the document into a folder. Now I also have here folders created uh, by others. These are folders that have been shared with me. If you see a little person, it means it's been a shared folder. Now when you share a folder, any subfolder inside is also shared. So this is a, a folder shared by another user, and all the documents in here are shared with me because the main folder and the main document has been uh, shared as well. Now if I delete a document in here, or I delete the folder, it doesn't impact anybody else. It, it just disappears from your own computer. So any of these files that have been shared, if I delete them because I don't need to use them, don't worry, it's not going to impact the original user. Last sites under your control panel. Some of your professors will eventually start rolling out sites as an alternative to to class web and then what it is is just a place where you can go by class by class to download documents and leave comments if you have questions about assignments.